Right, it is time to paint the living room. So excited, it's a stormy day. The boys are actually off school today because of the weather warning. Mm. We've got a weather, an amber weather warning for Storm Chiron. Chiron, you see how windy is the trees there? Yeah, it's very it's windy out there. Blurry. It doesn't look that bad to be fair, but it is quite a stormy really day. Really went out earlier. It's like there are going to be Top. 60 mil that much rain. Yeah. Today. Yeah. It's a lot. It's quite a lot, isn't it? Yeah. Mm. So anyway, we thought, why not? Whilst we're here, we already had planned to paint this living room today, even with the boys at school. But they're here anyway. They're doing some homework at the minute, um, just over here. But we thought we would paint the living room. We've got our paint ready. We've had it for a couple of weeks now, haven't we? We're just going to go for it, you know? Just doing it. We want it done before Christmas, obviously, because our decorations will be going up very soon. So we need this painted. So we've got the new vibe for Christmas. Right, let's start with the artwork. So I ordered some artwork from Desenio. As you know, I've worked with Desenio multiple times and I'm working with them again for this segment of the video. So the living room is very white at the moment and that is going to be changing. So I thought I would change the mood with some artwork, which is a great way to update a room, is changing the artwork. So let's get out the artwork. It's very different for me. Let's see what you think. Oh my God, this is so nice. Wowzers, there's like a few different pieces in here. Oh my God, I cannot believe this, it's so gorgeous. This artwork is going to be so perfect because our new living room color is quite similar to like these tones here and we wanted something a little bit more moody. The artwork that we've currently got in there is all very white. So we've gone for more of a moody vibe. So I've got this, which is actually part of the Lone Fox collaboration. I absolutely love his content and I was so excited to see that they collaborated. So I picked out this print. I also picked out this one. I think I got this twice actually because I'm going to have them either side of each other. So I've got two of those. I might like make one upside down. Um, so those are the three prints that we're going to have on the main wall in the living room. How gorgeous. I also got this one how nice is this i love checkerboard anything at the moment and this one looks like it's got a kind of texture to it how cool is that and it's kind of more brown tones with like an ivory i also grabbed some frames so i went for like a light oak frame for the square picture which is this one and i think that's going to be really nice because we have like light oak in the living room i'm not sure where this is going to go yet then i went for the dark oak frame for the other paintings or like prints and I think they're gonna look gorgeous and then I got one other item which is in here does any also do things like cushion covers and trays and I saw this one and I thought it was so cool and fun and I love a bit of green so green checkerboard kind of like warped design which I think would be really fun for Christmas as well because it's got that kind of pop of green Okay, so these are the three pieces of artwork. I think they work so well together. So these are actually two of the same prints, but I've turned one upside down. So they look like they're two different prints, but they're like cohesive. I've also got this one here in the slightly lighter frame. I do actually have a discount code for you as well. It's Lisa P55. That will get you 55% off of Desenio prints and 10% off of frames and 10% also off of a personalized poster. So there's so many gorgeous prints and posters on Tizenio. My discount code is valid until the 19th of November. So make sure you check it out, get involved. Um, I'll leave all the information in the description box for you. Oh my God. Look how much stuff is behind the this sofa. Is the cats, isn't it? Cat toys, Nerf bullets. <laughs> so much stuff under here. This is crazy. Right, so we're all prepped and ready to paint. We're gonna start on this back wall here. We're using a paint by Coat. I've never used this brand before actually. It's called Debate Club. 
and it's the one that we chose from the samples that we ordered not too long ago. We've also ordered paint that's going to go on the woodwork as well so it's slightly different finish to what's going to go on the walls. The wall paint is matte and then the woodwork paint is going to be exactly the same colour but it's in like more of a soft sheen I oh. think so or eggshell I can't remember. So yeah let's get it on the walls let's see what it looks like because I don't even remember how it looks. <laughs> Uh, the thing is, it always looks lighter in the tin, remember that? Uh -huh. So when it goes on the walls and dries, it's going to come yeah, out darker, you're isn't not it? Give in. Oh, right, yeah. Nice. It seems lighter than I thought it, it is. It is lighter, but it won't, it will dry down darker. Okay. Promise. That's nice, that. That's good, isn't it? This is going to be a transformation. Perfect. You happy with that? I am happy with that. Right then. Really cutting in roughly because this is all going to be the same colour. Yes. Anyway. Oh my god, it took me so long to paint all that. <laughs> Oh my god. Three years ago now. It took me so long to paint all these beams in this frame. It's about seven coats, I think it was. It's nice paint, this. Yeah, it it's looks like thick. Yeah, I like that. Time for another update. I've done all of this like bottom section here. Mark's gonna do this little top bit here, but how nice is that color? I'm so, so pleased with it. Doesn't that match? That's limestone on the top there. So it's pretty much the same color as the limestone. Right, we're on to day three of painting the living room and dining room now. I didn't really update you much yesterday, but this is how far we got. So basically we've done two coats everywhere and Mark has started today in the dining room area, which you can just see over there. So in the dining room, we've got like a picture rail up here and we've always kept the top part white. Underneath looked white before, but it was a different color, but we're not sure whether to keep that white or to go all in with the color tricky obviously we've painted the radiator and stuff we need to go over that again one more time yeah i was thinking the same i think it just needs to all be one color because we still need to paint this woodwork over here um but i love i love the color don't you i like the contrast in window now yeah it looks smart against the wood looks nice against the wood as well doesn't it what i like as well is that this color changes throughout the day it's, it looks it depends on the time of day depends on like whether it's sunny or not like in the evening it looks super green and we've still got the artworks put on the walls which is just going to make it transform i think once we get that on there because it looks so bare at the minute but yeah it's just this kind of side let me just take you over here so you can kind of see um, this area so we're not sure what to do with the door we're going to keep it white for now just because it's a big commitment just to like paint the whole door although i think it would look better if it was all painted but i think let's not be too hasty Let's paint all of this. The doors need painting eventually anyway, they're still only primed, but we need to decide what we're gonna do with all of the doors in the house. So for now, we're gonna leave that white, but everything else needs to be this darker color, but isn't it a lovely color? Everything's had, this room's like finished. That side's had one coat everywhere. This area over here's only had one coat. There's just stuff everywhere on the floor. <laughs> oh my God, I can't wait to have a tidy room again. It's been so messy over the last few oh days, literally God. stuff everywhere. Um, but yeah, we just need to do this area here. We're gonna paint this bit. This little bit here, we're keeping this white. What white? Those cupboards. Oh god, yeah. Jeez. Imagine that would be such a fun. Worry me then. <laughs> we're keeping well, them well, white. A bit of wall next to them. We're keeping that. Just leave that in it. No, I think that should be oh, the same bird, colour. Bird. Needs to be that colour. What about the ceiling in there? Paint that. No, I don't think the ceiling. Jesus. No, keep the ceiling white. We're painting that in there. That little bit oh, there. Leave it. No, I don't think so. Really? Yeah, I think. It's tricky to cut in. That's all. We'll see how far. I don't. I think it looks unfinished if you just leave that little bit of wall when all of this is going to be that brown colour. As you can see, we've painted the woodwork up here. So we've painted the frame. So this was basically when we moved in. There were doors here. So this was the big door frame for this massive set of doors it was like a room divider slash doors um so we thought we would carry the color all the way up across that bit 
and down we're not obviously doing the beams we're leaving the beams so we've just carried it all the way along this is called color drenching where you basically do all of the woodwork all of the walls and if you wanted to you could do the ceiling as well but we're not doing the ceiling because that would be a faff wouldn't it, it? Took me so long to it did <laughs> so we're not gonna we're not gonna mess around <laughs> with the ceiling leaving the ceiling and i like the lightness of the ceiling so yes that's fine but can you see over there how that looks really warm now now that the yeah. sun is coming in whereas over here it looks more green i love how it changes in yeah, the light it's, it's so cool. nice isn't it it's a big one for us isn't it it's proper we said it feels like a grown up colour, doesn't it, Charles? It does feel really grown up. I just can't wait to see this, like, styled at Christmas as well. And that is how it changes throughout the day. It is, like, true to colour, actually, in the camera. Right so, yeah, yeah, I think we should paint that bit, don't you? We're so nearly there now with this room. It's been a lot of painting well, over the last few days. Like I think because we've, we've been painting the woodwork as well, it yeah. feels like it takes so much longer, doesn't it? I feel like if I can give this all one coat and I'll paint it all again later... Yeah. And tomorrow's just touching up and you're done, aren't you? Yeah, That's it. lovely. I'll just give you an update on this side of the room. So yeah, really like it. It's a lovely colour. I've just brought the Desenio prints in here because they are going to be going back up on this wall. And I think they're going to work really well in here because the colours oh just make it pop, don't they? Mm. I'm going to put the other picture up here for a bit and see how that looks. Mm. Love that. That looks really good, actually. And I like that the frame matches the beam. Yeah, that's true. Of the fireplace. Yeah, great. I like mixing woods and metals. Is, I think it looks cool. Like we're on a TV <laughs> 60 minute makeover. <laughs> that's, that's how quick we do our makeover in 60 minutes. Let's do it. I'm sweating. To be fair, it's taken us three days, but we've, three we days? are getting there. Not really. It's we're, not really. When you've got kids, it's not three days with kids. I think it's time to end the video i feel like we've been painting this living room for about a week now <laughs> it's literally gone on forever you know when you start something and you're like this isn't going to take long you're all like motivated in the beginning and then it's like the motivation disappears <laughs> um but we've pretty much finished the whole room now we've got a couple more bits to do i thought i'd show you what the dining room area looks like as well because that is 90 percent there we've got a little bit more painting to do just to finish it but we decided to paint the top and decided to paint the door as well it looks so good but let me just show you how it's looking i'm so happy with this room it's so cozy it's really hard to share it on the camera actually i feel like the camera makes it look darker than what it is in real life but you'll probably see it in photos it might be a bit easier to see in photos but so happy with it so far so now i turn you around you'll be able to see the color a bit better so you can kind of get the contrast but how gorgeous does that look i've still got paint on the table here so ignore that and we've still not painted this bar area we're actually going to paint that in the same color just so it all blends and we really love the color drenched look where everything is pretty much painted obviously apart from the ceiling because we're keeping that white but look at that look how the light is coming in now and how gorgeous that is i love that this side of the room is done now like the dining room side i feel like it looks so gorgeous and i think it was a great idea to paint the door as well we were contemplating not painting it which you would have seen earlier on in the video and then when we decided to do this top part we were like do you know what let's just paint the lot um and it looks so good it currently has only got i think it's got one or two thin coats of paint on it so it needs another one or two as you can see the door currently looks quite patchy but once we've done another coat on there that'll be just like everything else and i think it looks so much better now that it's all the one color what do you think of that i think i think it looks great but yeah like i said the dining room side still needs another coat of paint in area is, but i just think it looks amazing i'm so happy with it look at this picture from disenio as well doesn't it look so good i just love it it looks amazing it's such a different vibe and actually i prefer the sofa in here now do you remember me saying i wasn't sure on the gray sofa but i feel like it makes it the gray sofa just like blend in a little bit more looks a bit more muted it doesn't stick out so much now so yeah i'm really happy with all of that i think it looks great the pictures on the wall look amazing as well which you can probably see a little bit better now because when i filmed the footage earlier it was a bit harder to see this room is so cozy 
I literally love it. Can't wait for the Christmas decorations to go up. So anyway, I'm gonna leave the video there. I really hope you enjoyed watching this kind of living room transformation and seeing a few new bits that we've got out for the living room, like the Desenio pictures and of course the paint on the walls. I feel like it makes a huge difference and it feels so lovely and cozy. Let me know what you think of the color. Was it a color you thought we'd go for? Is it darker than you thought we'd go for? Was it the right choice? We love it, so that's all that matters, but let me know what you think. I am super pleased with it. I think it looks great. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.